proud to be sponsored by Diamond Bright, the car care products that have been keeping the furious fleet looking their best for a long time already. To find all you need to keep your car clean and protected, follow the link below to diamondbright.co.uk. Hello, welcome to Furious Rescue Missions, and I've just had a phone call from my old friend Jason, you've seen him on the channel a few times, and Jason's car has stopped working. He's in Sainsbury's car park, and uh, he started pulling out of his parking space, then the engine died, and now the car won't start again. I initially thought he'd run out of petrol, or his battery had died, but it turns out he's got half a tank, and the thing is just cranking like crazy. So we've gone and got a code reader and some tools, and see if we can fix anything before the RAC turn up. We've told him they're about four hours away, but there's a three hour limit on this car park, and he's gonna get fined if he stays any longer. So hopefully we can fix a quick solution, because there is a Halfords just across the side of this car park. Hopefully we can find the bits we need and get him on his way again. Feeling like you're about to be broke? Probably. Yeah, figures. All right, waggly foot thing. Does waggly foot thing work? No, waggly foot thing does not work. Hang on, cheese another door. It's one of those gimmicks that's such a good idea. Waggly foot thing. Ninth time lucky. All right, so we've got a Carly little box. We'll find the ODB. Hang on, OBD. All right, so this goes in our old dirty what's name port. Yep. Um, so, which side is it? This side above the pedals below the steering wheel. I've got to go down by where your feet go. I know. Ugh. The horror. The horror. Right, so connected to the car, ready to start. Health. That's not a Mercedes. Let's go back and scan. Let's bung this into the ODB. I will never call this the correct name again. Uh, connect. Adapter has been found. Application is now connecting to the car. Check for issues. Let's see what it says. Diagnostics completed. It says there are no issues. The fact that I'm still here would beg to differ. It would rather, wouldn't it? Well, at the start, I'm just cranking like crazy. Um, no, zero issues found. Okay, a quick demonstration. This is what the car does. Which means the start motor is absolutely fine. You go basil faulty on it as much as you want. It'll make you feel better, but it won't actually do anything any good. I suspect you've got a dead coil, perhaps? Um, but I did want to just double check in case there's any sensors or ECUs that decided to throw a wobbly. Mm. So, okay, let's go and see if we can pull a coil off it. In case it's got a dodgy sensor on the uh, gearbox, because I've had that before. Ignition on. Let's whack it through this, because it does occasionally happen you get a bad sensor on the gearbox. And it thinks you've got the car not in park. No. Not that, okay. Right, let's grab some no, tools. Let's get some spark plugs out, see if it's gonna spark or not. Now, just to make things easy at the roadside, the spark plugs are hidden by underneath hex key, what do you call them, torque screws. Oh, wow, okay. That's got all the spark plugs built into it. I didn't realize that on one of these. Right, okay, let's pop a spark plug out. Right on. Let's see if I'm getting a spark plug channel viewer who sent this uh, magnetic um, spark plug thing or as Jason calls it tubular thing um, smells like petrol so hopefully well, it could be a fuel pump that's packed up as well uh, need to earth this, need to earth this to something to see if we're getting a, a spark out of it oh. I'm not seeing a spark there hang on there's something else I could just earth it to try it again No, okay. You're not getting a spark. No spark, which means either the wiring has gone to this thing or the coil is dead. Okay, additional testing will be required. This is pretty old school maintenance, but these look really got corroded up inside, so it's a bit of a desperation kind of thing, because the only other choice we've got is 130 pounds for a new uh, one of these coil pack units. Well, I haven't tested this yet. Maybe just try, give these a bit of a clean up. 
that might be enough to get a spark through again. I can't see how this plug comes out and I don't want to risk damaging it, but I am 99% certain the problem is this impact. Because the car started, it ran, it was running perfectly, then it cut out and now it won't restart. I'm not getting a spark by touching it to an earth point. Uh, I've spoken to uh, the local car supply part. We can get one for tomorrow, but not for today. Still waiting on the RAC to turn up. Apparently they're very busy in this area. Um, so yeah, that's going to be another hour or so at least before they turn up with a tow truck to haul this thing home. Once they've confirmed it and hauled it home, we can get one of those parts in and we'll fix this tomorrow and see if the Saab runs once more. Poor Eeyore. Right, the car's been towed home to Jason. We've been up to JR's and got ourselves a new toy. Let's go and see if we can make it be the right toy. Hello. Hi there. Right, so the RAC man, he tested it as well and he decided it was that also. Yeah. Okay, so there's two people who have decided it's the right thing to change this thing. Yeah. So let's get this thing out of here. And this is the shiny new one. We won't put this down anywhere dangerous. Do you have to do the honours or does this just shuffle out of there? Hopefully it shuffles out. I'm going to go. Now. Okay. I did pinch something as you do it. Yeah. I'll hold the camera. Let's have a look. Did, did the RSC guy actually take this off yesterday? No, he tested the wires, but he oh, didn't okay. take it off. Oh, right, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, I see, yep. Oh. Okay, so that is reconnected. Right. In theory, this will drop in here and just start straight up. Easy. Easy. I'm going. <laughs> There we go. It's that easy. Right. Do you want to give it a test fry? Stand back. Okay, here we go. That doesn't sound good. Not at all. I remember to ask you to bring a bench pack. You didn't mention that, no. In the meantime, look at this cool polar picture I took. <laughs> right, so. The mini rescue wagon to the, well, to the rescue, really. Weird, though, because this was ch cranking so happily yesterday. I'm amazed it's gone so flat as it has now. Are you going to yeah. give that a whirl? To be honest, they look like pretty terrible jump leads. I've tried those kind of ones before, and they're not really doing anything. Right, give it a whirl. Please work. Kill it. Right, I've been back and got the Never Fail NoCo Boost Pack, so hopefully that'll give us enough woof to get this wagon wagging its tail. Ooh, la, la. Okay, Jason. <laughs> Yay! Woo! The car is alive. It was a simple repair in so much as the direct injection coil packs had died while the car was running. Can you believe it? Anyway, so hooray for a simple fix, not hooray for five hours in the car park, not hooray for a potential £70 fine when they finally catch up to you. Yep. At least you have the fake number plates on, so it's not really this car's plate, is it? So we're all good. Just need to put these screws back into it, yep. and then we are done. Right, just need the old Torx T30 again. I think it was that one. And we can twiddle this nice and tight. Click and click again. Hurrah! So we've now got a functioning car. Say thanks, Jace. Thanks, Jace. Now go and pay for the parts, bud. So a little insert sidebar, what you call a box out in magazine circles for you. Right, so Jason's car is a 2000 Saab 9.3 turbo with a B204 engine and it actually came from the guy who helped us out changing the gearbox on Rover 214 that we rescued a couple of years ago and he's a big Saab fan and we spoke to him last night and it turns out he actually used to carry a spare one of these things in the boot at all times because they are notoriously bad for failing. Who knew? He actually cleared out Euro Car Park's last stocks of them when he had one of these cars. About this car and an identical one. And Jason's now driven this car a bit of a distance and it turns out he's actually getting far better fuel economy now. So I guess that had been failing for a little while. So all in all, a good fix. Well, thank you for watching. This is a very brief interlude in the world of Furious. 
experienced breakdown services, apparently. It's a new service we offer. I'm not giving out my phone number though, so sorry. Pardon? Oh, that was 473 pounds plus parts. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. As usual, like, subscribe, go over to diamondbright.co.uk, use code FD10 for your discount, and we'll see you again next time working on one of my own cars. Goodbye.